How you doing everyone? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back. Yesterday's game on Lost Paradise was incredible. We watched the good player dominate on that battlefield. We're going to watch another game on the same map, but a completely different play style. Scorpion is going to show us the way. The sniper. His name is Baba Yaga. Uh, which in Russian I think means the boogeyman. And he's in his Scorpion G. And he's on this cool little map, which I think of all the new maps they've uh, tested in recon mode, this one was one of my, um, one I really enjoyed. Good player yesterday. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, you have to watch it. It was an absolutely incredible game. I'll, uh, spoiler alert, 10 kills, just ridiculous. And he played it in the southeast corner. Most of where he went, where the time he spent in the game was in that southeast area, around the rocks. And you got a good view of that part of the map. But the boogeyman plays it from the other side. More of a sniper. And he does his first... Oh, I think that might have hit, but the guy uh, went stealth before he pulled the trigger, I think. So we saw yesterday... A medium tank type gameplay around the rocks. Now we're going to watch a sniper type gameplay. And when you're playing on this map, there's look at the map. There's a lot of open spaces. There's an airstrip. There's a part in the middle that's open. There's a lot of... And, ooh, he's having bad luck. There's a lot of lines of sight. So you've got to beware of the Pokemon. <laughs> where did that shit? The scorpion gun, man. Did you see that? I don't know, that might have hit, but nowhere near the bullseye, just, you know. Ball one! Ball two! Ball three! Ball four! Take your base. That's the scorpion these days, right? Come on. <laughs> it's just 0.28 accuracy with all his crew skills and consumables. There you go. There you go. He made one hit. He pressed number two, guys. Now he's spending credits and Wargaming said, Okay, well, uh, Yuri, he's spending money now. He's using lots of credits. Uh, okay, okay, we make shots hit. All right, fine. <laughs> spamming, spamming gold like a motherfucker. Now it's bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. Strike one. Strike two. Strike three, you're out! Bulls And uh, in German means press number two and shots will hit. Okay. <laughs> He's figured it out, right? He says, it okay. Okay. You win. Uh, so look at these lines of sight, though. You notice that he's not getting shot back. There's no bushes, but look at the map. These two little ledges. Talk about the map for a minute here, okay? Be serious. The two little ledges, where he is and where the enemies are, are far enough apart that they're outside the white, see his white circle on the map? When he fires, he's not detected because they're farther than the maximum spotting range. His teammates are engaging them up there, right? So he gets to snipe at lit targets and they don't see him. Uh, just a full FYI, if you're fighting on this map, the team that pushes aggressively in, on this little corridor has the support of snipers behind them, right? So when you're defending and, and they've moved close, if you poke around those rocks, you're gonna get hit by the Baba Yaga. And nobody wants to get hit by the Baba Yaga. Now look at this, he can shoot it to these positions. It's a very interesting map, I like the map. People are still learning it, so. There's a lot of targets out there that don't really know the lines of sight. It's, you know, you're not going to see the fantastic gameplay because people are still learning the maps. But I got to tell you, uh, another little serious part here, talking about maps. Oh, wait a minute. The Baba Yaga says hi. As long as he keeps firing premium ammo, it's bullseye, 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 bullseye. It's only those number one shells that save a ball one. 
Uh, what I was going to say is, all these new maps that they uh, are testing in recon mode, and there seems to be quite a few of them, I have to say, well done, Wargaming. Well, half the job is done. Thank you for all these new maps, and all of them, um, pretty much, I like because they're not just simple one-dimensional corridors. Like, there's a, some of the new maps we have, like uh, Berlin. You basically go to one little... You know, where those ruins are, uh, two squares on the map, that's where everyone has to fight. And the whole rest of the map is kind of just where you wait to see who wins the game. And then there's other maps that there's just, it's just a corridor. But all these new maps, uh, I have to uh, clap my hands and say, they all have multiple lanes. Uh, there are some corridors, but there's a lot of uh, lines of sight uh, that crisscross and different pathways and different topography, which makes it much more interesting. So which, what it means is that the games don't all play out exactly the same. Right? When, you, when you play Ruinburg or when you play Berlin or when you play Paris, every freaking game is pretty much the same. There's the, the simple little corridors that you have to go to in the cities. And there's a few sniping positions, and that's it. And it, it all, t the team that wins that corridor wins, right? But all these new maps, because there's so many different pathways, there's many, many, many different ways to win. It doesn't always play out the same way, which means variety, which means, hey, that's great. So Wargaming, you, you've done half the job. You've got the maps. Now all you have to do <coughs> is turn the maps on so that they're in the game the regular game not just recon mode and I think how many did I count like three four there's like almost ten there's quite a few I, I don't know the exact number like nine ten there's a, there's a lot of new maps I've done some videos uh, on all of them and I, they're all they're all good they're all fun and I hope just put them all in the game can you imagine if they slapped like Ten new maps in the game, just ba boom, bada bing, bada boom. You know, and then everyone has to. Uh, it would be fun. It'd be like a learning curve. There would be a m much variety. You wouldn't get the same. That's the other thing I don't understand, right? They have so. If you look at the library of maps Wargaming has, there are so many. There's like 60. Again, I don't know the exact number. You guys can check it, but. And then when you have a session, it seems to be like a rotation of three or four. And you get uh, uh, Sand River, Ruinburg, and Himmelsdorf. Sand River, Himmelsdorf, Himmelsdorf, Ruinburg. Sand River, Himmelsdorf, Ruinburg. That's your, that's your rotation. It's just like, what the fuck? You know, there's the airstrip. See this big open area? Like if you've got so many maps, can they not all be live on the rotation, or is there uh, some sort of a server? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how it works, right? I don't know if it's too... Is it too difficult? I, I can't imagine it could be too difficult. Boom. 577. Oh, the scorpion is working. The scorpion is working in this game. I wish they could turn them all on and we could have a big variety, like a big... When you have a regular session, can you imagine playing 14, 15 games in a session and having a different map each game? Now that would be variety. It would be cool. It would be, I'm all for that. Up the ass for you. Gegner will the Panzer getroffen. Which means pull your little pants down, spread the little butt cheeks, and get ready for it. Oh, oh it's coming. We haben sie beschädigt. Now, let's end uh, the video here. Baba Yaga. You have the HP, he has a low alpha gun, you have a big gun. You could just poke here and get the kill. But you are playing very cheekily and you didn't get it. The Baba Yaga did not get it. But hey, guys, uh, great game. Fantastic. Thank you, buddy. In the score, it's really nice to see a Scorpion G do well. Look at that list of people he shot. Great score. Over 7,000 damage. Right? Lots of XP. He made a lot of credits because he is driving a premium tank. And the game did not last three minutes. Fantastic. Leave some comments. Let me know if you guys uh, have tried recon mode 
and you've tested out some of the new maps, which ones were your favorites? Maybe I can find some games uh, to make replays on some of those maps. Let me know what your thoughts are on the map rotation. Like, why are we, when you play one session, do you get like three or four maps in the rotation for the whole session? I don't know what the answer is, but war, Wargaming, what's the answer? Why can't we, when we play, if you play 20 games, why can't you have like 20 different maps? You've, you've got like dozens and dozens of them. Just check the wiki. There's so many of them. Turn them on. Get some variety. Variety is the spice of life. Uh, well, let's face it. If you're interested in the spice in life, you, you wouldn't be playing a stupid video game in your basement all day, right? You'd be, uh, you'd be out in the world, uh, you know, meeting people and drinking. Oh, no, wait a minute. We're not allowed to do that still. You're not allowed to go meet yeah, people. I, I guess you're just stuck with me watching videos. Subscribe to the channel. That would help out. That's what I wanted to say. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.